You may ask who I am, and I'll tell you. I am a hunter. The game hunter. Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of Apollo. Ah, Mega Man ZX Advent. Why did I say Apollo? Let's let you guys off. We took care of uh, Rose Spark, the Floroid, which is his appropriate name. The Floroid. I'm this guy's transformation. This is the transformation to transform into Rose Spark. Which I think in this next portion, uh, I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. Due to airship crashing in, in this area, safety locks are in operation. Locks cannot can be disengaged by de deactivating the three element switches. To deactivate, exploit the vulnerable uh, attributes of each. Elemental switch electricity is effective against water, fire, ice is against electricity, and fire against ice. Now I know for a fact I don't have the third. I don't have the third element, so and I can't leave. Fun, I can leave here. It's really strange. I know there's supposed to be another uh, supposed to find another boss to get our extra elements. If you haven't figured out, we gotta get ice somehow. This is why I thought I wasn't supposed to be here yet. This is why I kind of got confused. I, I blew out. I, I got kind of confuddled there. So, we're gonna go back. Oops. Well, screw it. Oh. We're old. Okay, we're stuck here. Well, I don't have a third element. So... I didn't even think it was possible to get here without that element. Well, I'm here where they want me to be. So I'm quite confused. Man, I just didn't remember what's going on here. I guess. Uh, okay, we gotta use Rose Spark here to get over this. Anytime you see these poles, you're gonna. Uh, wait a minute. I don't understand, like, you're supposed to have a certain, uh, pseudoroid available to you by this point. And I don't have that pseudoroid. Like, I forgot how, how you were even supposed to be allowed to do this without that. I didn't even think it was possible. And we just take this off with electricity. Remember, actually, remember that, it's actually really important for, uh, for bosses. Electricity is, is effective on fire, and fire is effective against uh, ice. Now we don't have what's needed to take that out, which is why, like, I I shouldn't even be I shouldn't even be here um, without that ability because I don't have the I don't have the I don't have what's necessary to take out what's down there. I need to freeze electricity, but I don't have, I don't have the necessary, uh, yeah, I'm not supposed to be here until I have one more. I, I'm trying to myself from spoiling what I'm, I need, but you already, you already guys already know, I need ice. And apparently you can't climb ladders as the antelope. Yet you can, yet you can uh, have fire come out of your hands. Logic. What we want to do is we want to transport ourselves. Uh, we need another ability. And I forget where that was. Any, any place when you're trying to transport, any place that has like a red signature on it, you can transport there. So, I'm probably going to cut out to find out what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try looking around one more time. My right, next time, my all-time favorite form, but we'll get to those two forms later on. Uh, can we go in here? Okay, we found it. Activate the score points. Now, I'm glad I went to get Rose Spark. Can you hear me? It's me, Mikhail. It looks like you stepped in some rough terrain. You should be able to cut a path through the chunks of ice, but the areas that allow that that allow access to the crash site are limited. Mega Man, you must find a way to break through. Now this is the area that I remember. Um, this is ice physics. If you guys don't know, this is ice physics. Every gamer's dreaded fear. Ice physics. 
now, the, ironically, at the end of this, at the end of this area, you, you get something really handy that allows you to swim. Um, you just get it at the end of this area. I, I found completely, you know, just completely wrong. Like, they make you work for this ability. When you don't really even watch. Well, I, I myself never really use it that much because the next ability, I think, where it allows you to swim, I think it's a little bit more easier to use. Okay, son. This, the music in this area reminds me so much of a song uh, from Church. Die. Uh, okay, we're gonna want to transform into Bugfire here. You're gonna, be, you're gonna hear me use. Uh, you're gonna hear me use the Sudoroids real names a lot. So if you hate, if you hate these, if you hate the Sudoroids nicknames or names. I don't know what I can tell you. Do I have enough? EC on me. I got 232, but I want to, you know, I already got one that can transform for me over here. I'll need two. Usually, what I do is I usually just look for the closest one that I can get to. Oh, we're coming on, we're coming on the short bus. One that I have significant problems with. Now, I usually stay bug fire for this fight. And here comes. Now, Buckfire's abilities are fairly handy here, uh, but as you can see, he can miss quite a bit. So, everything. This guy's a tentacle-based boss. You want to make sure that um, you want to make sure that you're hitting him. Like I said, this like Buckfire's arrows may be the best technique here, but at the same time, Buckfire's arrows can miss a lot. It's like. It's like, it's like the most, it's like the most reliable thing and the most reliable thing at the same time. It's like, it's like, it's, I don't even know what it's like. Uh, so you just want to keep on shooting, like just keep on shooting your arrows. There are apparently like Minecraft arrows. <laughs> I'm never into Minecraft. I'm stupid. Oh god, you don't really count with those arrows, those like piss tentacles because you get trapped. Easiest boss in history if you just use Buckfire. Ah, uh, I love it. Uh, I love it. I want some more of it. So we want to jump here, I think. Uh, there's a cyclist up there. Don't want that. There's something up there. There's something up there. Um, important that important in my eyes. Uh, we want to kill this thing. Oh, um, yeah, you want to kill that thing. Okay. Oh god. The deuce? <sighs> wow, I need to get... I'm sorry if you can hear my button mashing, but it's like... Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna have to um, use my... Uh... Ha! Eat that. Eat... Oh! I call hacks. I call hacks. Seriously, how, why did he respawn? I could've sworn I killed him. Ah... Uh... You know what I'm supposed to do? Start wasting time. I'm gonna just demerge because sometimes being your normal self is actually good. Or is hold up? No, it's not. I thought I could move. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. It's good to know. Okay, going to kill that thing. Uh, want to use our up arrows. I don't really even use Buckfire as much as I'm using them right now, but at the same time, Buckfire is... Uh, you also got some B enemies, but at the same time, Buckfire is like at the very early game, at the very early stage of the game, Buckfire happens to be the most OP character you can use. Um, you can always tell how OP he is. Fire in general just seems to be the most OP element in any, in any game. Even in Pokemon, like, Fire tends to get the most respect. And we got our son of a biscuit. <laughs> I tried getting that sub tank in one try. But nope. LP is curse. LP is curse. Uh it did, it did not want me getting that. <laughs> okay. We got our first slip tank, and the slip tank thing shows up in the side, and we can move on. Uh, 
surprised to fill that up. If I can always buy some more, I got I got easy to spare. So I, got, I, got, I got easy to spare, so it isn't a big deal. That's what I like about this game, like you are able to you know buy extra energy. I mean a lot of people might say that's the, that's that's too easy, but at the same time, with as bad as I play, being able to fill my um energy tanks at any time I want is good, but at the same time it isn't it isn't any time I want actually, it's only at certain areas. I got switched to one of the areas before. Um this you can't destroy until much, much later in the game. Like seriously, this right here, the thing that you have to get the um um to get rid of those blocks is like to me the wildest thing you could ever transform into. And yes, it's a transformation ability you have to get to unlock that. Now we gotta destroy these things, as cryptic as it is. Leave. I usually, I usually stay for I usually stay bug fire for this because you gotta um, get through a lot of ice. I'm not even kidding. It's ridiculous how much ice you got. You gotta. Think about the ice you got. You gotta. Um, how much ice you gotta break through? And I'm not destroying anything. Let's get out of the way then. Those things may appear may appear to be indestructible, but they're not. Um. Like usually, you gotta destroy them when they're open. Get them in the, uh, shoot them when you see the eye, when you see the white of their eyes. I know that's the only history lesson I forgot what it was. Bad, because at the same time, I enjoy history and English a whole lot more than I enjoy math. Yeah, I know, shocker, I honestly can't stand math. It's just kind of funny that I'm taking a freaking GSP. Like, I'm taking something that requires a lot of math. But it's like at the same time, they give me too much math, so. I really only went to games in which it's designed characters and stuff like that. When I'm, telling you, when I'm telling you this, I don't know. I just felt the urge to let you in on the mind of the hunter. <laughs> the mind of the hunter. I told you guys, I'm still with my own videos. You already, you already get enough of that as it is. You don't need to be acting you don't you don't need to be acting even stupider on like in other episodes, do you? You want me to do you really want me to do I'm telling you you can destroy these guys. It's like, it's like it's the, more, it's the hardest thing to do. Seriously, it's, it is the hardest thing to do is to destroy those things. Um, so we get two more to deal with. Yeah, you want you want to destroy those things because you want to get through there. And there's another boss fight that I don't know how I don't know how long it's gonna take me to finish. But we'll see how long it takes me to finish. So you want to destroy this thing? And I missed a pink door at some point, so let's go back to track. Uh, I will say, as for a water level and ice level combined, it's really peaceful. It's surprising, like, I mean, then again, it's not really surprising, because that's what our water levels and ice levels are for. They're, they're for relaxation, they're not, they're not meant to frustrate you like they do. I think it's just poorly executed planning on the game, on the game at this point. Uh, our part to make it these levels like what they're supposed to be. Which is they're supposed to be relaxing, which a lot of gamers would agree that no, water levels aren't the most enjoyable because you gotta swim. And as gamers we don't like being you know, we don't like being we don't like doing too much. Uh, which is a sad habit that a lot of gamers gotta get out of. Which I, I highly approve Nintendo when they did the whole Wii thing. I know a lot of people don't like the gimmick of moving. I like the idea, and should be taught, I like the gimmick of the Kinect, but does that mean I'm gonna get a freaking Xbox One? Never! <laughs> My answer is hell no, because I, um, even if, even if they, even if Xbox did realize their mistake, which I don't think they did, um, you know, we're revolving, or, um, moving back the DRM thing and getting rid of the whole, um, like, uh, no use game thing, like, they have the balls to do it, they have the balls to do it once. Well, they they're not gonna do it again. So what, what's good, probably gonna happen is that when you see a lot of people buying this thing, they're gonna um, put the patch back in, and you're gonna have to, you're gonna lose all availability to all your used games. Oh, let me shut up here. Prometheus said he found someone interesting. I came to see who it was. Thetis, he's nothing more than a kid like you. Hey, you're not that much older than me. 
What, what is it with you people? Shoot emerge! Didn't Prometheus tell you that you'd meet other Mega Men? My name is Thetis, the Ice Mega Man. Chosen one for Model L. An Atlas, the Flame Mega Man. Chosen one for Model F. Don't tell me you don't know about the Game of Destiny, in which the winner becomes the King of the World. King of the world! This just gets bigger and bigger! Look, I don't care about that. All I know is that if I beat them, I get to find out who I am and where I came from. Sorry, I'm not in the mood to fight you right now. We've got other things to do. I've got no time oh, for great. some kid who became a mega You know, we got another pseudo worthy idea left. You look like you could oh, this is Chrono nice Force, the Zilliparoid? <laughs> Welcome to my Sub-Zero world. You've got some nerve calling yourself a Mega Man defective. Now, Chrono Force to me ha has to be the, the most difficult um, of the earlier pseudoroids you gotta battle. Um, as I say, um, earlier pseudoroids. To me, he's the most difficult to deal with. Um, mostly because of his projectile moves, but also because he has the time, he has the ability to rewind time. I don't know if he's going to show in this fight, which I know he is, because this is Chrono Force, the boss. What boss who has to bid around time doesn't really abuse that? And trust me, Chrono Force abuses the ability to rewind time. It's kind of the most, uh, it's got to be the worst thing ever. Um, and yes, as you can probably tell, you, you get to copy his abilities um, after you beat him, so... We're just gonna take care of Chrono Force, and he, he he's being really easy right now. It's just kind of, it's kind of worrying me. Yep, there he goes. This is what he this is what I mean. He's gonna he's gonna send all these projectiles around, and you wanna remember where these where they where they exploded. Just let me know. Well, you don't only know these exploded because he's gonna rewind everything. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ. Yeah, I honestly think he's the hardest of the earlier bosses you have to fight because I lost to him, I think, a, a, a good 10, 10 to 15 times. Because I just could not, for life of me, not get hit. Like, you know, for, like, for life of me, I just could not get hit. Like, I don't know what was up with me, but he was the hardest boss for me to dodge, attack wise. I mean, I will say this game is a lot easier than ZX at uh, ZX in general, but at the same time, I just this, this boss. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. This boss gave me a lot of trouble. Ironically, I did. I apologize for all the, the bad voices going on here, but I can't do anything do about that. Just flail about so, in the I apologize in advance left. for the <laughs> really weird voice. I think well, I can't separate that, and I really wish I could so I can improve it. And we get Chrono Force's DNA. Okay. This he, his, him guy everyone keeps talking about. I bet he's the one calling the shots. Behind now, I kind of really don't really tell you yet. You, you have to go after these guys because like, they don't put it on your, they don't put it on your to-do list. This is all getting 
kind of the most annoying thing ever. Like, they don't put this on your to-do list at all. In the previous game, they put a lot of things on your to-do list. Um, in this game, it's like, it does the navigation for this doesn't get much better. But it, it is a DS game. So, at the same time... You also can release a time bomb, which isn't the coolest thing. It isn't as cool as, like, Chrono Force's ability. Which is why I kind of find, like, you know, I, when I first thought you could copy this guy, I was like, yes, I get control over time. No, you don't really get that much control. So next time on Mega Man ZS Advent, we're going to continue on and uh, hopefully get what's necessary to repair the ship. And I mean, uh, repair the train so we can get to Legion headquarters. Find out who we really are. I don't know if we really want to find out who we really are, though, because we woke up about to be brainwashed. There's a reason why we were brainwashed, we were trying, well, they were trying to brainwash us. So I guess find out next time what we do, what happens next. See you guys. Then as I boost around. Yeehaw!